Welcome back. Adam has arrived with his Arts and Lifestyle Report. Thank you for always doodling on your script. I feel like I'm inspiring some creativity in you. So a few, thank you few stray lines, Adam. <laughs> Take it away. All right. A musical icon is returning to Vancouver Island. Leonard Cohen is launching the Canadian leg of his North American tour in Victoria on March 6th. Dance me to the children who are asking to be born. Cohen is touring in support of his 12th studio album, Old Ideas. The concert will include a nine-member band playing almost 30 songs ranging from new material to his greatest hits. The Save on Foods Memorial Center show is part of Cohen's second swing through North America, and the tour has earned regular sellouts and rave reviews. Tickets go on sale Friday, January 18th at 10 a.m. Well, a Victoria artist is destroying one of her paintings today to protest against the proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline. Start. Anne Hansen started covering her bold landscape with black paint this afternoon. The canvas featured images of coastal life, such as birds and sea lions. Hansen says that similar paintings have sold for up to $8,000, but the cost of a real oil spill would be priceless. That this is what an oil spill looks like. That these species will be blacked out, basically. Just basically my message is get off the couch and be involved in something and, and try and make things better for us. Hansen is best known for her series of paintings depicting oyster catcher birds. She staged this demonstration along Victoria's Inner Harbour this afternoon and the final blacked out work is scheduled to be displayed at the James Bay Coffee and Books on Menzies Street. Well, it may have been a, a mega hit at the box office, but the finale of the Twilight series tops this year's Razzie nominations for the worst movies in 2012. My time as a human was over, but I never felt more alive. Twilight's Breaking Dawn Part 2 was nominated in 11 categories, including Worst Picture and the lead acting spots for Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. Other Worst Picture nominees are Adam Sandler's That's My Boy and Eddie Murphy's comedy flop A Thousand Words. Winners of the 33rd Annual Winners or Losers of the 33rd Annual Razzie Awards will be announced in February. That's the night before the Oscars. And finally this hour, uh, researchers in France are suggesting that we start eating bugs. Recent studies say that supplies of beef, pork and chicken won't be able to keep up with the world's growing population and improving living standards. So researchers are proposing that we start looking to protein in worms and crickets. They also believe it's healthier than meat because it's not chemically enhanced. Some creative dishes Ugh, include insect nuggets and beetle larvae lollipops. It's estimated that nearly 1,500 insects are edible. You don't want, you don't want one of the nuggets? Doesn't appeal to you? <laughs> no. Oh. Put some barbecue sauce on? Would you do that? Would you eat some bugs? If I had to. They do it on Survivor for money. So you'd do it if there was some sort of financial payoff? <laughs> I guess to survive. If I needed nourishment, I would. Fair enough. Thanks, Adam. Okay.